I recently bought a new oscilloscope and it came with this kind of plug. And if I recall, this is a German plug and I need an American plug. Um, but it's no real problem, right? Because on the other end, it's got one of these things. And well, we've all got these things sitting around the drawer. I mean, they're used in power supplies, UPSs, um, computers, monitors, all that stuff. So you just go grab one out of the drawer and, and put it on there, right? Well, it's not that easy because there are different types and if you don't know, it can lead to damage or even fire. Let's take a close up look at these and see the differences. This is the original power cable. It's got 0.75 square millimeter wires in it. Uh, right out of my box, we have this, which also has 0.75 millimeter square wires. And let's talk about why this may not be the best substitute, even though it seems like it would be without uh, looking at anything else. Uh, this is 0.82 square millimeter wires. Uh, we have another one, which is 1.5 square millimeter wires. And again, the American plug. And finally, the monstrous 2.5 millimeter wires. And yeah, so what are the uh, differences between these wires? Well, let's go look. This is the original power cable from the oscilloscope when I bought it. And as you can see here, it says 16 amps, 250 volts. And that's theoretically what it's capable of. We're gonna find that that doesn't always, uh, that's not always as clear cut as it may seem. Uh, if we follow the wire on around, we see this number, it says three times 0 0.75 millimeters square. And what that means is there are three conductors inside there. Each one is 0 0.5 millimeters squared. And of course that's uh, neutral, live, and ground. So uh, let's look and see what I have in my box to substitute for this. And what are some uh, issues that might uh, arise? The first one out of the box is this one. And yeah, it's got my uh, American plug on it. Um, and I don't know if we can read, but right there above my finger it says 10 amps, 250 watts. Okay, well, it, maybe, maybe. Uh, so let me run down the wire and we will uh, zoom in on the uh, size of the wire for this. This one's a little harder to read, but it says 3G, 0, 0.75 millimeters. And um, yeah, it doesn't have the usual 3X times 0, 0.75 millimeters, but it is a three conductor wire and it should be a direct substitute for the original cable at six amps and roughly 19 wire gauge. So let's look at the, the next choice out of the box. And the next candidate out of my spare plug box is this one. And it says it's rated at 10 amps at 125 volts. So this appears to have been made specifically for the American market. And let's go around here and see if we can find the, uh, the uh, markings for the size. So this one says, let's make sure it's in focus, three times 0 0.824 millimeters squared or 18 American wire gauge. So yeah, this, this uh, looks like it was absolutely made for the uh, US market. However, what's interesting is the information I find online says this is about uh, seven amps uh, continuous at standard temperatures. So I'm not sure why the plug is marked at 10 amps. And this is that uh, conflicting information I mentioned uh, at the beginning that, uh, yeah, so um, personally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, another size up, I think. But let's see, uh, let's see what that is. This is another option out of my cord box. And we can see right here, it says 10 amps at 250 volts. Well, 250 volts is good. I mean, having a little spare uh, is good. But this says 10 amps, and if we go around the cord, let's look and see if we can find the, the size of the wire, and there it is. This one is three times 1.5 millimeters squared conductors. Now this is only claiming to be 10 amps. The 0.75 and the 0.82 both claim to be 10 amps, so it's a little bit scary that you know you would think a company if, if uh, they could like this 1.5 if they could claim more amperage you think they would but yeah it's only claiming to be 10 amps so um, I'm gonna go with a bigger cable because 
frankly, I would uh, believe that, that this is capable of 10 amps more than I would believe the others. Okay, well, I have uh, one more option in my box, and uh, let's take a look at that. The last one I have to look at is this one. And what's interesting is it doesn't make any claims about the ampacity, amp carrying capability of the, of the cable on either side of it. But if we scoot down the wire here, we can find, there it is right there between my fingers where it says three times 2.5 square millimeters. So these are three wires that are 2.5 uh, square millimeters in area, ground, neutral, and live. And what I can find online, and again, take this with a grain of salt, use uh, your code in your area, but it's approximately 13 AWG and capable of 17 amps, which I like because most of the breakers in my house are 15 amps, so this would sustain while well, the breakers uh, heated up in blue. This is our original cable claiming to be able to carry 16 amps. It has three wires of 0.75 millimeters squared. We also had this, which is 0.75 millimeter square wires, only claims to carry 10 amps. We have this 0.82, also rated at 10 amps, self-rated at 10 amps. And then we have the 1.5, which was also rated at 10 amps. Yeah, so you can see where this disparity is coming in with uh, different size wires all claiming to have the same or, or actually more amperage. And then the 2.5, which is uh, capable of carrying 17 amps, which is almost what the original wire at 0.75 was claiming it could carry. Well, as we've seen, these cables come in a very wide range of current carrying capabilities. And there's nothing that keeps you from swapping a, uh, you know, a, a low amp cable into a high amp resource, uh, like using a monitor cable in your UPS or something that requires a lot of power. So yeah, and that's what these were. This was from a uh, monitor, low amperage, and this is from a UPS, high amperage and they both fit equally well. My opinion, they should have some kind of keys on here that prevent you from using a low amp plug on a uh, high amp application. So we have to, as consumers, educate ourselves and know about these things and avoid the problems, uh, you know, the burning cable or even a house fire that uh, can happen. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electrical work.